Everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. The LA Lakers picked up Thomas Bryant on a veteran minimum deal, and he's a rangy stretch five who fits a profile the Lakers have lacked for the last past few years, and in combination with another pickup in Damian Jones gives them potentially a very dynamic and versatile rotation with their bigs. However, Brian is coming off an ACL reconstruction surgery that occurred in February of 2021. He only played 10 games that season and then played 27 games last season and certainly didn't look like the same player. For example, his shooting numbers were way down, albeit on a small sample size. The question becomes, is that concerning at all? And will his ACL injury impact him in the medium and long term. Firstly, the fact that he didn't look to be the same player in last year's 27 games isn't all that surprising. I typically look at the first season back from an ACL rupture or any significant injury as an acclimation period, both in terms of physical fitness and mentally. The latter aspect in which players can suffer from something called kinesiophobia, fear of re-injury or fear of movement and just general lack of confidence and rhythm is especially pertinent in ACL injuries and the research is showing that increasingly. Bryant getting those 27 games in will actually be a helpful springboard for him into this season. Further, I'm typically looking at the 18 to 24 month period for when players are closer to their pre-injury selves. Bryant will be right at the 18 month mark following surgery when training camp and preseason opens up for the Lakers. A second key positive for Bryant is that he actually suffered a partially torn ACL in early January and then he didn't have surgery until February. Now the surgery itself is going to be the same as if he fully ruptured it. However, in that month gap, it's very likely he will still working on strength and mobility in that knee and that prehab can help expedite recovery and quicker return to performance. Thirdly, and I mentioned this at the top, is that he'll be in a solid rotation at the five along with Damian Jones and potentially also Anthony Davis sliding down into the five spot at times as well. So there's not this huge onus on him or pressure to play these big minutes. He can be eased back into those minutes and eased into higher intensity situations and you build that up as the season goes on and then hopefully into the playoffs as well. In terms of medium and long term risk, there's always going to be a slightly increased chance for re-injury, but that's inherent here after any ligament injury. And he's likely going to have some ongoing soreness and discomfort, especially as he ramps up into higher intensities. But again, that's inherent with these injuries. The key will be for him to continue to work on his fitness and use that methodical strength and conditioning plan with the Lakers trainers to keep building up his overall fitness and to mitigate any of those injury risks moving forward. All in all, even with the ACL injury, the timeline looks to be aligning very well for Bryant to be able to return close to his pre-injury levels of performance in this following season for the Lakers.